Hi, this is Randy Kay, and I have a message about your future, your eternal future. Maybe you have faced some questions about that. For example, is heaven real? Is hell real? Is Jesus real? And is the Bible a man-made construct, or is it truly the inspired word of God? I'm going to hopefully answer those questions for you in this message. First, with now hundreds of testimonies from people who went to heaven and hell, most of whom clinically died, Randy K. Ministries has aired an unprecedented number of accounts from self-professing Christians who experienced the afterlife. And some of us have encountered Jesus personally, face to face. Not all of those who have contacted us have been shared on our YouTube videos and Heaven Encounters television show, but in some total, we have heard from a record number of afterlife survivors who identify as Christians. Now, along with our friend John Burke, who has researched near-death experiences for over 30 years, we have amassed enough testimonials to confirm what each of us will experience after this life on earth ends. Now we know the answers as to where you and your loved ones will experience eternity. Now we personally know from Jesus himself the answers as to whether the Bible is true and how you can be assured of your eternity. Here is what we discovered from hundreds of personal testimonials from the afterlife. Number one, Jesus is real. People like myself have met him and journeyed with him. And many of us did not just imagine meeting Jesus because at the point of clinical death, our physical brains no longer functioned. Only our spirit minds could witness Jesus. Some who met Jesus were marginal Christians, and some were unbelievers, meaning they did not believe in Christianity or necessarily the deity of Jesus Christ. Number two, heaven is real. If you have watched our accounts on the Randy K YouTube channel, or on our randyk.org site, or on our TV show, Heaven Encounters, you have heard firsthand testimonials of people who express firsthand experiences in heaven in amazing detail. Moreover, many of these accounts present consistent observations from people who have nothing personal to gain in sharing their stories. In fact, most of those who shared their accounts lost personal wealth and status because they shared their stories. Now we know that the paradise Jesus promised to the repentant thief on the cross is real and available to all who know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Three, hell is real. We have presented many accounts of people who personally witnessed hell. Through painstaking detail, they tell of a place of hopelessness and torment. All of them have said in different ways that they got the, quote, hell scared out of them, end of quote. And all of the unbelievers with whom we interviewed went to hell and returned, repented of their unbelief, and all of them are wholehearted followers of Jesus as their Lord and Savior today. But here is the sad reality of those who enter the afterlife without having confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The vast majority will never get a second chance. That's why we are presenting these stories, and it's why Jesus has allowed a small number of those who experienced hell to return. Their messages are God's loving call to everyone living that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but through Jesus, and that if you know Jesus, 
you know God also, as stated by Jesus himself. Number four, the Bible is true and accurate. How do we know that from these encounters in heaven and hell? It's because either Jesus confirmed his word during several encounters in heaven that we have testified of, or Jesus's references to hell in the Bible were confirmed by hell survivors who share the features of hell that are explained in the Bible. What's more, both heaven and hell afterlife survivors with whom we have interviewed now teach and speak from the Bible as a result of their experiences. And each of them not only affirms the Bible, but they also cite scriptures to correlate their own personal witnesses with what the Bible says. Now, others who have researched near-death experiences for decades also confirm these findings. Jesus is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. The Bible is true. And we also know for a fact that each of our lives on this earth will end. We have told of children who have died and babies who died in the world and were discovered in heaven. People of all nationalities, social statuses, and backgrounds have testified of Jesus and the afterlife. Many were pulled by a bright light, the light of Jesus Christ. Many encountered angels who appeared otherworldly and even human. All who encountered Jesus noted his overwhelming love, and all who encountered hell noted the utter despair of that place. Today, beloved of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have a choice. You can choose Jesus Christ and know the promise of your eternity in heaven. Or you can choose to reject what Jesus did for you on the cross, rejecting Christ's offer of salvation and consequently suffering the consequences. The decision has never been made so clear and so evident. If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is your chance to assure your place in heaven. Pray with me now. Dear Lord, I ask for your forgiveness. I receive your forgiveness from what you did on the cross to crucify yourself for my forgiveness. I ask, Lord, that you would wash me new and I forgive everyone else who has ever offended me. Fill me, dear Lord Jesus, with your Holy Spirit and guide me all the days of my life so that I might honor you into eternity with you in heaven. Beloved of the Lord Jesus Christ, the facts are in, and we've already stated those facts to you. You can resource hundreds of testimonials and videos that we have presented to you. And with our partners in this ministry, thousands of accounts of eyewitnesses of both heaven and of hell. Beloved, there is no more excuse. But the good news is that we don't need excuses. We just need to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is the only way. And if in fact you confess that fact, then you are destined for heaven. And that's the great news. Because, beloved, if you are indeed in Christ Jesus, be of good cheer, because heaven is in your future. Take care, and God bless.